There's no athlete quite like Novak Djokovic, determined, resilient, with a laser focus on victory. The Serbian is considered by many to be the greatest male tennis player of all time. But beneath the 24 Grand Slam titles and the countless controversies, there's a family man who's lived through war and come out the other side with an unbreakable spirit. I sat down with him before his defeat at the Australian Open. How are you feeling? Great, yeah. <laughs> what does this city mean to you? It means a lot to me, obviously, every, every time I, I step out on the Rod Laver Arena, you know, I kind of relive the memories of the previous years and, and everything that I've been through, so uh, I enjoy it. I feel like you've seen the best of times here, the worst of times, yeah. and the best of times yeah. again. Is that I wanted to say? say I wanted to say I've enjoyed myself every single year except one year. Yeah. <laughs> what, what happened? That, that, was year? A short, <laughs> that was a short stay, <laughs> but you know I haven't seen much of the city. Since, <laughs> if I can say so, we've yeah. left it all behind us. Yeah, now. it's it's one of the experiences that I definitely won't forget. Mm. Uh, the, the experiences that have left uh, you know a very strong mark in, in in my life. How much of your upbringing um, has shaped you? We, we've been through two wars, embargo for four years, from 92 to 96, no Serbian athlete could travel abroad for any uh, for competitions, you know, to compete internationally. So it, it was very challenging times. It, it just uh, toughens you up. It could have easily gone a different way, uh, but I, be, I believe that it was a kind of a destiny as well uh, for me to, to play tennis and to be able to achieve this, these great things. You know, I, I watch you play and Jim and, and John McEnroe, they're all like, man, what's going on inside that guy's head? <laughs> you know, he's gonna flick the switch and it's like, you go into beast mode. Is part of that, you on the court, related to all those experiences? Or? Yeah, it could be, it could be. Uh, I, I don't know to what extent, but there is definitely some connection to and link to, to my upbringing. And I was 12 when we had bombings for two and a half months, nonstop day and night, so. Is that still living in there? Um, at times it appears, uh, mostly when I hear fireworks. When I hear that sound, it, it really reminds me of, of, of those, you know, bombs exploding and it's grenades terrible. and stuff. So, it, mm. you know, it's, it's not really super pleasant, but, you know, you still have a little bit of trauma. But going back to your question, I think it is connected to that, the grit, the resilience, the never giving up spirit. Uh, and I think um, it surfaces normally in the moments when, it, you know, when it's either break it or make it. You're hard to kill, is the reality. <laughs> I mean, they all want to get you. Well, so we have a saying in our country, you know, you can you can kill us, I mean, our body, but you cannot never kill our, our soul and our spirit. So, so I really believe in that. In the end of the day, uh, how many tennis players in a history are, are, are able to do the things that I've done and I've achieved? I'm not saying this to praise myself, I'm saying this to remind myself of, hey, you know, you know, pinch yourself, look where you are, look what you've done. At the same time, I feel like it's just, it's, it's one chapter of my life. Yeah. I feel like there are more chapters to come. Do you deal with being away from your kids okay? Not really, uh, to be honest. I, uh, I, I do struggle with that more and more as the time goes on. Australia is a long trip, yeah. probably the longest one that we have in the entire year. My son is nine, uh, my daughter is six. Uh, every day, every week they change. And you know, my daughter's tooth, uh, first tooth went out ah. and I wasn't there for that. So it's yeah. like, ah, oh, you know? But at the same time, um, it's all about balance. I've got four beautiful kids as well. I've got um, you know, the light of my life, but I want to show you, I love annoying them. Like the most annoying dad in the history of the world. I'm just going to show you one thing here that I did at Halloween, yeah. right? And see if you get up to this sort of thing. <laughs> uh, you did that. I saw that on the internet. It's so oh beautiful as you get older, though, it's, to have those moments. Uh, dads should play with their children all the time. And I mean, that's like my, my favorite part of the day, just when I have their attention and when they have my attention, when we are fully present and we play and we invent stuff and it's the best. It's the best I'm, you know, I see getting you. emotional right now. <laughs> you know, I miss them. I'll, I'll see them in a few days. If you want to have a cry and a cuddle. <laughs> I have a hug, I have a hug. I've been I'm watching you for the last couple of years and watching the Elliot uh, Oh yeah, it's show funny, it's funny. Impressions. The Eric Cartman, you know the one? <laughs> yeah, 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 look at the car. He's probably 
the only one that could really copy my laugh. Yeah. Laugh is like. <laughs> <laughs> this is good. This is good. You got it too. That's though. good. I love it. Oh, oh, there's, two of, there's two of them now. Okay. You know, Nick Kyrgios is quickly. Um, you know, he was. I feel like you know he was in kind of in love with me, and then he's fallen in love. With, he's dropped me. He's in love with you. That Whatever, is, bro. Whatever, bro. He, <laughs> I don't care, bro. I don't even care. Why well, I'm here? Like, what's going on? <laughs> Hey, great to meet great you. Go well. Thanks, Carl. Go well. Thank you, guys. See you next year. Awesome. Oh, that's one of the, that's one of the great chats, Carl. He's a legend. Um, you know, he'll be back. Um, you know, there's all sorts of debate over, you know, what the future holds for him, but he has no time um, for even thinking about retiring yet. No. But he's still having a great time, but he's just an incredible dude. He's really fascinating. People have their own kind of yeah. perceptions of him. Yeah. But away from it all, he's just a really, like, a really cool dude. He really believes in what he does, his yeah, family, all those. Yeah. It really all came out That's there. a real special thing for me to do. Yeah, it was lovely. I can retire now. <laughs> we'll have to play that laugh again later. That really <laughs> <is really> going. <laughs> See, there you go. It gets just you. do it. It makes you feel... Oh, it yeah. makes you feel good. <laughs> do it at home. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> The whole studio is doing it. It's wonderful. <laughs> Look what you've started. There you go. Hey there, Today fans. Sarah and... <laughs> What's my name again? Oh my God. Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?